Good day guys, Jilly Cube from Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Doing a um I'm doing a dip today and I'm doing the dip with poster paints. Um it's actually a tester for a bigger piece um that I've been asked to do by a friend and she just wants just black and yellow. Um, so I'm just using the poster paints and I have mixed the poster paints with my normal pouring medium which I put 70% glue 30% warm water then I've just added to my poster paints when I'm doing a dip I have learnt the hard way that I need to um, have the paints a little bit thicker because it can if they're thin it just goes to mush so I'm using the poster paints, which are, I think in the US, you call them tempura paints. But basically, because I am adding the PVA glue, it's, all, it's, it's making them an acrylic, because that is actually what is in acrylic paint, is the same ingredients that's in um, glue, PVA glue. So I've made up my... Uh, just plain simple yellow and black so this is for my test pour I'm just doing it on these smaller canvases but um, I will be doing it if it works out on a bigger canvas so I've done I've made the yellows two kinds of yellow so I used the yellow directly from the um, paint which is just called yellow <laughs> And then I made up the same yellow but added a little bit of orange so it's gone like a buttercup yellow because I just thought having the two different kinds of yellow and black hopefully it may be what she's after um, to go with the decor in a home and because this is my test pour I will do it I will do it just in the two different yellows and black and see if she likes that um, my black is a little bit thinner than I would have liked. See, that doesn't even leave a trace, and I'm ah, just hoping that that doesn't. I might have to add a blob more of the um, paint so as it goes a bit thicker. But what I do with my black, I always add some dark blue to the black, and then it sends it. Um, it's a, it, it just a blacker black actually it's not a grey black if I add some dark navy and even a spot of the dark green in with it and that's what I like to make so this is like then it just seems black the black is black but I'm just thinking that I maybe might add a little more dollop of blue in that black just because it's quite thin um, and I'm not yeah I've learned by the if you see the last few dips that I've done I've done the paint quite a lot thinner than I should have done for a dip and they just did go to mud until I had to correct them so you spend then just um, a lot of time trying to correct your mistakes so best if you can get it right at the beginning so yeah doing a dip on a bigger canvas is always um, a bit more challenging than doing them on the small ones but like me if you can do a test pour on the small ones and it turns out and you kind of can get your consistencies right in your paint and you know what you need for the big one so in theory that should work so I haven't added any oh yes I did yes I did sorry sorry I added two drops of the Helmar silicone um, I'm not sure whether it will create any cells in this poster paint or not but I did add the two drops of silicon plainly because I got carried away thinking I was mixing my paints up for um, a pour or something and I added the silicone so we'll just pardon me just see if we get any cells with this you never know so yeah very plain and simple but hopefully <laughs> it can look okay who knows so wish me luck <coughs> excuse me just a cough a 
the side. Oh, here we go, here we go. So, do I put the yellow down first or the black? Oh my goodness. Maybe, um, probably need to pour this into a smaller cup just so it's a little bit easier to handle than this cup is quite full. So I'll pour what I need into a smaller cup. Let's see how I go with this. So I'll start with the black. I'm going to do the chevrons. I don't think I've done it with just two colours. I think I did it one time with um, black and or gold and black and silver I think if I can remember correctly it's gonna pour this around the edge I'm not worried about the edge of this canvas for my test pour so I'll use the two different kinds of yellow now this is quite thick but I'm thinking that they turn out better when they're thicker, so we'll see. Let's hope so. Let's try the other yellow. Again, I'm going to get a smaller cup for this. Just easier to manage in a smaller cup when you're pouring out a full cup. It's pretty, can get messy. So you can just reuse, wash your cups if you choose. Wash your cups and reuse them. They actually do look nice together, the two different yellows and the black. I'm just hoping that it... Now I'm just filling in spots here. So you think this should be a simple pour. <laughs> Let's see if it turns out that way. Hope you're all going well and um, coping with your isolation. Uh, you can have, you're allowed to have a meltdown, but as long as you sort of pick yourself back up and get back with the plan, it's uh, yeah, getting a bit stressful at times. Just the feeling that when will it be over? But you've got to keep your, it's got to keep. A level head about it all I suppose okay there is your two yellows and black very simple really easy for beginners and I'm just going to do the one canvas on top of the other so let's see how we go and while I'm here talking to you I want to just thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel and if you haven't done so could you please do so and hit the notification button told to tell you that to hit the notification button so you'll be advised of when I have a video out. I know loads of people say to me I was waiting for your video and one didn't come out and um, I said yeah it did and they hadn't been uh, notified because they hadn't hit the little notification bell so if you want to be advised of the next video hopefully there I keep up a diff different um, content for you to you know interest and just try new things okay what I'm going to do with this which a lady gave me good advice about I'm on is to turn your canvas over and then it will transfer some of the paint that didn't transfer on the first hit over to your canvas this way so with a good little plan now if I was doing this on a canvas that was to sell or a commission I would tape the back with the um, masking tape so just use the mask masking tape at the back of your canvas 
and your push pins in there and it keeps your canvas nice and clean so um, looks a lot nicer if you're selling your work okay hopefully that should be fine if there's any bits missing I'm not too worried because you can just press your little tiny water balloon on them okay wish me luck oh 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 my goodness that is super duper look at that and that will develop some little cells i would say because i've put that um, bit of silicon in i really like having the negative space so if you're doing a deep remember to run your, uh, just a negative color around the edge because that's gorgeous where's my little balloon it's a little bit that didn't transfer but I'll just use a teeny tiny water balloon which is just this little balloon that I just my little balloon that I put over the um, nozzle of my tap and filled a bit of water it just adds a bit of weight to give a little bit um, of pressure on your painting but I love those I'm actually so happy that I mixed the two different kinds of yellow now because that looks terrific I'm gonna dip here where there's thicker paint and dip where I've got a little bit of the canvas showing just teeny tiny balloons look very delicate and, and if you don't want to do too much It's quite thick there my goodness I like it what do you think guys that on a very on a nice big canvas dipped and you've got the two canvases it's really effective um, and I'm so darn happy I mixed the two different yellows don't want to Okay, I'm actually just doing these few dips because, oh that's really runny there, I mean it's just that there's a lot of paint there so I could take a bit of the paint out there and pop it in where there's less paint there. I think that's lovely, look that is such a simple thing to do as a beginner or a um, <laughs> I mean I still love doing them after all this time um, they still turn out beautiful dips are one of my favorite things along with swipes so I think they can make some gorgeous work look so intricate for such little effort um, and that's my yellow and black I'm going to just leave that be now and, and see how it dries hopefully a few little cells will appear I will give it a quick go over with my heat wand but I don't want too many cells to come up okay not too many in that that's good so I'm just going to leave it now then I will post some uh, photos on the end of this video um, how the piece is dried and go from there so if you want to do a really simple thing that simple pour that looks elegant too this was with the Montmartre poster paints they are they're still available my, the online shop in Australia with uh, Capriol Shabby Chic has got plenty I think they're like less than six dollars I think they're five something for um, 500 mil so once you've had your um, PVA glue to them they dry really quite um, shiny and it just feels like it, it's um, an acrylic paint so for beginners or somebody that is budget conscious easy peasy and looks really quite elegant I think that's my opinion um, so I'm looking forward now to doing the bigger size in these and you guys let me know what you think if you liked it and uh, have you tried it in a bigger size 
So until next time, thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I appreciate it. I don't ask anybody for any money. If you watch my channel and get notifications, that is enough um, for me. I'm happy with that. If you get any joy or tutoring out of it, all good. So I'm going to fix up my sides and then it's bye for now until the next one. Bye, guys.